Hi, it's Jolie Farms in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. So glad you're with us today. I'm going to introduce you to some new friends of mine, Reed and Tamara. Thank you so much for having us today. Thanks, Joe. So how long, how long have you been here in Vilcabamba, Reed? Joe, I got here in uh, 1st of November of 2021. So I've been here approximately 18 months. And I got here um, from the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, Fantastic. Fell in love with Vilcabamba. The climate is absolutely perfect. I was only going to stay here for two weeks. And that's turned into 18 months. Um, Fantastic. Yeah. And Tamara, how long have you lived in Vilcabamba? I'm from Guayaquil. And I have uh, three years. Here? Two years? Yeah. Three. Three oh, years. Three. Three. Uh -huh. Tres años in Vilcabamba. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Exactly. And you were born in Guayaquil. Exactly. Guayaquil is a city by the coast. Most of you probably know that by now who are watching. And uh, big city. Sí. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vilcabamba is uh, muy tranquilo compared to Guayaquil, yeah? Exactamente. Muy yeah. tranquilo. Sí. <laughs> so um, Reed and Tamara have a very wonderful place here called Casa de la Artes. And I'm going to let them tell you about it. Tell us what all you do here at Casa de la Artes. So this is her um, brainchild. Um, she has wanted to do this for, I think, the last three or four years. And the idea is to have a space where she can teach her classes, which is um, salsa, dance, Latina power, belly dance. Um, but also offer a place for other artists and teachers to come and have their classes. So we've created this space and we have, um, we have her classes, we have yoga, we have theater, we have workshops, writing workshops, um, tarot reading, um, concerts. 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 Yeah, we had uh, Tarango mm -hmm. this weekend, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. So we we feel art's very important, and Vilcabamba just it didn't have a space that a, that is in town and accessible to everybody, um, and it's a fun place to come and do stuff. Fantastic. And so, like, if I want to come here and do a video editing class for people, I totally. could do that here. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. You could. Yeah. You know, I've, I've used the uh, technology center and uh, to do a class there before. Um, and the problem is, is scheduling that, trying to get get in there, get it set up. So it's not as not as easy. This is much closer to the center of town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, See. it is. Mm -hmm. It's accessible. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, what's your favorite thing to do here? My favorite thing here in Vicabamba. I or here, love, in, here in Casa uh, de la Artes. Casa de las Artes. Sí. Mm, well, I love my class. I enjoy teach. You enjoy teaching, yeah. See, sí, and uh, I enjoy too when the people come, you know, and, and I can know new people, you know, all time because we in our events. Um, it's like, I think, in Vilcabamba, I find my family, my tribe. Yeah. <laughs> right. So you have, mm -hmm. have uh, found a new family in Vilcabamba, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think we're the same way. We, we dearly love our family, you know, back in the States. But, but since being here, we've got new members, new mm -hmm. members to the family. Sí. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've met more people in the last year and a half than I did in... 15 years where I was because you just get caught up in your core group and I don't know I just I see so many different people and it's amazing because of all the different nationalities that are here and the melting pot of people it is it's, it's amazing <laughs> it's it's a great place to be this is an amazing place there's someone I didn't introduce you to, and that's the rooster next door. Uh, You'll hear him pop up once in a while. That's them, Vilcabamba life, right? Them, yeah, we've got roosters on this side and roosters on this side. 
There's yeah. always roosters and barking dogs in downtown. Oh, Brooklyn. yeah. Yeah, you. Yeah, there. Yeah, it's not quiet here. <laughs> it's, right. it's how you you just get it's, used to it. Yeah, it's Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Ecuador. Mm -hmm. So um, tell me about the art show. I know you had a big art show here a while back. Um, tell us, you know, who all was involved in their art show. What kind of people come and show their art here? Well, we have different people that come and um, put paintings up and um, we haven't really had a dedicated art show yet. Um, maybe you're thinking of Prasadam that did last week. Oh, yeah, week. yeah. Um, but yeah, we have different paintings from different artists and um, we do, uh, we also do garage sales, which have been popular. We also open up for um, vendors that sell their products, um, and that brings, you know, quite a few people in. Um, so when you have one of these events, you let vendors sell some things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we take a small, you know, it, a small charge to set up a table. Yeah. Um, but it, it brings in quite a few people. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have our one-year um, anniversary coming up next month. And wow. so we haven't decided right. what we're going to do yet, but we're going to do something. Necesito grande fiesta. Sí. <laughs> yeah. So Eat a big party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. if you throw a party and it's not too late, I'm usually asleep by 7 o'clock. We'll start 1, 2 Oh, that'd be great. Pro we'll serve food. Like, usually we have um, someone that'll come and make food, sell food um, and beverages and, Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, it, what is what is your vision for the future tomorrow? What what do you what would you like to see this become? Mm, I want to have two dance rooms. I want to have uh, in the future. I think that is necessary uh, more space because uh, now our schedule is full. Oh, no, we yeah. we need come, like the people, uh, the artists come or people with purpose. Purpose, need purpose, and yeah. say, ah, I want space, but oh no, we don't have space now, and because we, we open every day in the week. Oh wow! See, so you open seven days a week. Seven days. In Usually the week something's for now. going on uh -huh. every day. Wow, wow, that's mm -hmm. great. So See. this area over here it would it be possible to maybe make some more like a venue space over there? Mm -hmm. There's the where we came in that little area. That's about it, because the rest is kitchen and bodega. Mm -hmm. So there really isn't. I mean, ideally, we have <coughs> somewhere in town that's bigger, and mm -hmm. we can have multiple areas I see. for different yeah. projects. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do use that. We had a drum making class, which is awesome, super fun. Um, we did that Sunday, and we did that in that front area. Like the African style drums, or it's a yeah with goats. It was goat skin, and then wooden circle, and then you punch your holes in the hide and wow. wrap it. Oh yeah, it was great. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I like doing stuff like that. So we do have that. We've had painting classes over there. Mm -hmm. um, but we just would ideally like to have a bigger venue, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is not easy to do in Vilcabamba. So if anyone from Vilcabamba is watching this and you have a space that you mm -hmm. want to rent us, be in the nice future. Know. See. Mm -hmm. See, because I think this is like temple for artists. Yeah. And in Vilcabamba is, we have a lot of artists here and mm -hmm. very good artists. And I want to have more space in the future for all. I think that's mm -hmm. important. We, we had to figure out how to get you more space. Mm -hmm. Need yeah, more space. We just had a guy show up this morning and he wants to have a class. He wants to teach chess to children. Oh yeah. Like mm -hmm. we have people just, he's from Columbia. Mm -hmm. He just found us. I don't even know how he found us, but he just showed up and wants to teach a class here. So it happens all the time, but we're running out. We don't have day, you know, 
we're trying mm. to take a day off, like just to have a day where we're not doing anything, but it's hard to do because people yeah. want to come. And You're going to have to get a volunteer to step up and maybe take over for a day to run sure. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know um, you used to be involved with the ceramics up at Maya's mm -hmm. along with my wife, Lisa. Yeah, that's and where I met Lisa. So you have a passion for the ceramics? Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I was in construction for 30 years, um, so I just like building stuff. And so um, just working with my hands and um, it's creativity and gives me something to do and... Um, and so, yeah, I like, I like building things, whether it be ceramic or shells or, you know, whatever. Any, anything and everything has to do with building. It'd be nice if we could get those ceramics started again here in mm -hmm. town. Maya's was wonderful about she's in San Pedro. A little bit out of the way for some people here to be able to get there. So having something central to be able to do the ceramics. I think would be, my wife would get involved again for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have her home baking cakes and pies right now, so she's, Ooh, hey, I see I have her, she loves it. <laughs> see, that's her creative outlet, you yeah. know. Mm. She likes to be creative, the ceramics mm. she loves. She was good um, at it too. But, you know, she, the cakes and pies, you know, once they're done and she gets to decorate them, that's her thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> People think I have her chained to the stove at home, but that's not <laughs> that's, really true. She enjoys it. Not really true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, I think that would be an awesome thing. And so, I mean, that gives people something to pray about. And, you know, maybe there's somebody out there that wants to donate some space and, uh, and make this happen. Mm -hmm. It's just good for the community. There's a lot of people here in this community that want to give to the community, want to do things for the community. And uh, this, is, I think, is a very good example. Um, and there's so many talented people here. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Musicians artists, mm -hmm. um, just lots of talent in this community, it's true, lots right? of healer type people. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so a lot of people here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think uh, these kind of things just seem to attract more and more. Exactly. Well, let's think about how we can help these folks here. These are wonderful people and they're doing a very good service for this community. And uh, I hope you'll think about it. And I hope that you'll pray about it and maybe give us a great big thumbs up. Ciao for now. <laughs>